What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming back to another episode of Is It Worth It? Now, I wouldn't be doing my part in the community if I didn't complain about Tuesday when the internet, not the internet, the servers went down. Well, there's my complaining. The only thing that sucked is that this video is late now because of it. Oh, well. But, in other news, we did something different this episode. Uh, well, kind of different. We still did a boss, but it's not a safe boss. So, we went into the wilderness and we decided to kill Venonatus, the big-ass spider that annoys the hell out of everybody who runs past it. Now, this boss is in level 25 to 30 wilderness. It can one-shot you. You have to deal with PKers, all that fun stuff. And I just hit my microphone. Also, if you're wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because I'm irritated with this boss. It's four in the morning, and for some reason, I can't sleep. So now you got Irritated Slayer meshing with Tired Slayer, and you get me. But enough of that. What are the requirements for this boss? 75 range, base 70 if you're using Varrock, Crossbow, you know, all that fun stuff. Since you're going to be safe spotting it 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't have to do anything else. Now, of course, there is three different safe spots for this. You got the center safe spot, you got the north safe spot, and you got the south safe spot. I can't figure out the north or the center safe spot with the crossbow, so I gave up. And we're doing the south safe spot, or I like to call it the hill safe spot. Now, this safe spot is one of the most annoying things in the game. You walk and do everything correctly, and the spider goes the exact opposite way, or it just spins on you for five minutes, and then still goes the wrong way, and then you just want to take your keyboard and just smash it across your desk. Now, this is without dealing with the PKers and everything like that. Now, let's get this started. At the beginning, as you can see, we're using Varrock. Now, this did change to uh, the crossbow. This is a good method if you don't have the money for a crossbow. The first death didn't even come from a PKer. It was because I wasn't paying attention. Plus side, right after that, we got our first big drop, which was some Onyx Bolt Tips. First PK we see, I panic teleport to a level 65. Yeah, not the smartest thing I'd done. But right after it, we got some uh, magical logs, I guess. Huzzah. But nothing more interesting happened in the first two hours. Second honest bolt drop, but I stopped recording after this because I don't want to get it too repetitive. Now, I would be lying if I said this was the only time I forgot to recharge this bow. Because it happened multiple times. We get smacked to 43 and right after a PK shows up. I am just glad I am fast with the teleports. Now, it wouldn't be a wilderness video if right after one PK, I get another PK. Now, I don't mind seeing PKs in the wilderness, but they could at least kill me. But right after I say that, of course, I do have to die. From the PKers. Now my only question is. When a PKer kills you. Do they get the extra thousand ether? Because in the wiki. It says it just vanishes. And nobody gets it. But that seems kind of interesting. Now this is where my irritation came into full force. Because I realized that they weren't just regular PKers. They are stream sniping me. Now, after this uh, close call, once again, I am not going to die to freaking stream snipers. We went to some stuff with my Iron Man and that sort of stuff. That video should be coming out soon. And yeah, we finished this video off stream. Now, I'll be honest, after I stopped streaming, I can't remember if I saw more PKers in the last four hours or not. I looked through all my clips. I cannot find anything. But what I do have is I have... Five minutes of, of video of the spider just doing this. Now, I do not know why the spider does this to me. And it annoys the hell out of me every single time. But thank God we are done with the 10 hours of this damn spider. 
Now, due to the failure early in the week, I did lose the loot counter and the supply counter. Now, I am going to find a new way to do supplies because I don't trust Rune Light because it doesn't track everything. So, I'm going to probably make a spreadsheet from now on per video. But the loot, this is what we got. I took a picture of it in the inventory so you guys can see everything. So, in total, after supplies taken out, we basically made 5.4 mil. Now, we only did 97 kills this hour. Now, before you guys go into the comment section complaining about how shit I am, just remember, this boss spun on my dick for at least an hour and a half during this 10 hours. I hate this boss. I'm never doing it again. But other than that, guys, I think we're done with this video. Uh, if you guys got any tips or tricks on this boss, leave it in the description so I can uh, research it and try to do better if I decide to do this boss again. Which I don't plan on. Uh, or if you guys have a recommendation for the next episode, let me know. And as always, my Twitch is in the link in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.